goodies? My name is Mr. Goody Grammar, and I'm feeling like a dinosaur that's afraid of space. Oh! Everybody, look up there. It's a comet. It's an asteroid, and it's gonna kill us all. Ah! Whoa! Let's push that fear to the side. Because you're at General Grammar, and I'm here to provide you with all your English grammar needs. Let's get it started! But before we begin, make sure to download the free guided notes in the description box below. The notes and the episode have matching badges that help you follow along with each section. Also, underline any maroon text that appears in the episode to identify key concepts and key terms. It's the shopping list your mom always forgot to take to the grocery store. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm so excited because today we're going to talk about a specific part of speech that really amps things up. But before we do, let's go ahead and do a basket breaker. Uh oh. For this week's basket breaker, the question is, how do you make yourself feel better? Take a second and write it down. Okay, what did you put? Here's my answer. In order to feel better, I... Meditate, mm. relaxing, peaceful. Oh, I'm trapped in my thoughts, help me. And you know what I'm also? I'm also quite parched. So I think we should drink up some radioactive waste. G -g 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 -g. Three, two, one. Today, just as I was saying before, we're going to be talking all about adverbs. But what are adverbs? Well, just like adjectives, adverbs are also used to describe words. However, adverbs are used to specifically describe adjectives, verbs, and other adverbs. Whoa! Whereas adjectives describe nouns. And also, there are different types of adverbs depending on the circumstance and the words being modified. For example, you can have adverbs of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place, and even adverbs of degree. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of them. First, we have adverb of manner. This refers to how something happens or how something is done. For example, you usually see this with an L-Y at the end. We can have the words like friendly and easily. Both of these words help describe how something is done or how something happens. Example. The velociraptor danced gracefully. Here we have the verb danced, but we also have a word that describes how the velociraptor danced. We found out that the velociraptor danced gracefully. Gracefully is adding description to dance. Therefore, gracefully is the adverb and you'll see that it ends in an L-Y. Next is adverb of degree. This states the intensity or the degree to which a specific thing happens or is done. Some examples of adverbs of degree are really, so, too, slightly, and hardly. All of these help indicate some kind of degree or intensity to which something is done. For example, we have this sentence. 
the Velociraptor is very talented. We could have easily had the sentence, the Velociraptor is talented. However, we want to go ahead and add extra description to the adjective talented. Therefore, we can add the adverb of degree, very, in front of it to specify the degree to which the Velociraptor is talented. Therefore, very is the adverb of degree in this sentence. Next are adverbs of time. Whoa! This states when something happens or when it is done. For example, we can have this sentence. My sloth plush arrived yesterday. In this sentence, we have the main verb arrived. Well, when did the sloth plush arrive? The sloth plush arrived yesterday. Therefore, yesterday is the adverb of time because it's describing and specifying when the sloth plush arrived. Pretty easy, right? Next, we have adverbs of place. This tells something about where something happens or where something is done. For example, we have this sentence. Of course I looked everywhere. In this sentence, the main verb is looked. Well, where did we look? We looked everywhere. The word everywhere modifies looked. It gives it a place in which the verb takes place. Therefore, everywhere is the adverb of place, adding that extra description. Oh, that was a lot of information, grammar goodies. So I think we should go ahead and ask for some employee assistance. Whoa! Oh, so much grammar. My head's going to explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this section, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read various sentences. What you will do is underline the adverb or adverbs that appear in each sentence. Think you could do that? Underline the adverb or adverbs that appear in each sentence? I know you can. Let's do it! Example, the scientists quickly mix the chemicals. <laughs> the formula is almost complete. I just need to mix them faster. I must do this quickly. No, it's on my hands, it's burning! Don't try this at home. <laughs> Alrighty, what's the adverb in this sentence? Take a second. This sentence is mixed. Well, how did the scientist mix the chemicals? The scientist quickly, ending with that L-Y, mixed the chemicals. Therefore, quickly is the adverb of this sentence. Let's move on. Example, I did not sleep last night, so I am very tired. Oh. I've been awake for over 24 hours. I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. I just want to. What's the adverb in this sentence? Adjective tired. 
But is there a word that actually gives extra information, extra description about how tired I am? Absolutely. It's the word very. I am very tired. So it's an adverb of degree, giving extra information about our adjective. Remember, adverbs can describe verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Let's move on. Example. The king selfishly decreed that all the candy belonged to him. And yes, peasants, you shall see that your licorice, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and sour candy all belong to me in my newest decree. <laughs> they shall call me the evil king of candy. <laughs> <laughs> They'll call me the lollipop lunatic. <laughs> Origin story. What's the adverb in this sentence? It's the verb decreed, to set a ruling, to set it forth. Well, how, how did the king decree the specific rule about candy? Well, the king did it selfishly. And you'll see that selfishly ends with an L-Y, a common occurrence when it comes to adverbs. It's the manner in which the king decreed the whole ruling about candy. So selfishly is actually the adverb in this sentence. Whoa! Think you have that down, grammar goodies? I know you do. So let's go ahead and put that to the test by doing an aisle check. Ha! <laughs> For this section, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put on a timer for 30 seconds. During those 30 seconds, I want you to write as many adverbs as possible. Think you could do that? Write as many adverbs in 30 seconds as possible? <laughs> I know you can. And while you do that, I'm going to stare longingly out a window while it rains in the background. <laughs> and go! I'm thinking about my past mistakes. <sighs> Lost loves. Forgotten stuffed animals. Heartbreaks of sorts. <laughs> and whoa! How many adverbs did you get, Grammar Goodies? Go ahead and count them up. And while you're doing that, I think it's time that we start checking out. Well, Grammar Goodies, I know that you did an intensely incredible job when it came to writing a whole bunch of adverbs. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And come in. Anytime. I'll see ya. Do 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 do. Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay. I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> so, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa!
click on another video. <laughs>